Welcome to the Life as Usual video blog, a web series designed to make you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. And today I want to talk about procrastination as a tool used to propel your network and give you an exercise that will help you implement that into your life today. If you want to get more information or if you want to see other videos, feel free to subscribe. I was very over eager when I started building my network. I really wanted to push the sale. I really wanted to get their input. Or I really wanted them to mentor me. And what I found out is that I wasn't getting a lot of responses. People weren't really messing with me like that. And it's only when I decided to put this practice into place, I really started making that network and expanding it and being an asset to the people around me. Nobody wants to be the person that constantly bothers somebody. You don't wanna overstay your welcome and you don't wanna overextend your hand. How can you use procrastination as a tool? Well, you can use procrastination as a tool to slow you down. The idea is sometimes we can be a little over eager especially when expanding our networks to try to make the first sale or the first idea. Using procrastination to prepare the person for understanding your ask is a way so you can really make a connection and improve your network. You can use your procrastination as an advantage by making it a prerequisite to you meeting somebody. It's what I call the slow and fast method. You want to strike first, and then you want to take a break to understand and get to know the person. And then you want to activate. And your procrastination is a great tool to make that happen. How do you know you're procrastinating too much? You know you're procrastinating too much when you're overthinking and you're not executing in a relatively good time frame. In my head, when it's expanding your network, over procrastination is longer than a week or two whenever you're making the next step in somebody's relationship. You can feel it too when you're really sitting there and you look at somebody's name in your inbox or your contact communication sheet and you feel that uh sign. Because generally, that means your procrastination is going to get in the way and you're gonna start thinking about motivation, which we talk about in another video, and that's nonsense. So the exercise to make that happen is called list it and forget it. And I'm calling it list it because what you're gonna do is you're going to build a communication list. Some people call this a, a CRM, but for our purposes, and start of your network, you're just gonna use a spreadsheet and forget it. On that list, you're going to have a couple of notes that focus on when are you going to talk to this person and when was the last time you talked to them. And then implementing that, you're going to be able to set them and forget it. You're going to list it and forget it. So the self-awareness piece of this is understanding that we forget things all the time and we want to implement that as a tool to help us not seem over eager. The other piece of that is you need to write things down, right? If you have the thing written down and you're able to take a look at it, you know it's written down and you're giving your mind the ability to forget it. And then executing on it with the ability to write, once you write things down, you'll forget about it. The next piece of this is you also have to be aware that your body or your mind really likes having reminders. Right? If you can remind yourself when's the last time you did something and you have it on a list somewhere, you're more likely to implement that moving forward. So be aware of reminders and be aware of how your mind forgets things. So how are you going to execute this? You're going to do that by building a spreadsheet with six columns. You want the person's name. You want the channel you're communicating with them on. You want the ritual routine on how often you're going to contact them. You want their email and contact, whether that's email or phone. And then you also want the last time you contacted them. And then you want a note section 
so that you know when did you contact them, what, what's interesting, what happened the last time you talked. You want to put that all in one spreadsheet and then you want to execute on it. Once a week, once a month, you want to check in on it. So what do I mean by that? So let's take, for example, Jace Wallace, directed by Jace.com. Check him out. He's great. He's directing this video series. Hi, Jace. It would look like this. It would say Jace Wallace. It would say I contacted him on November 12th. I contact him weekly. And then we talk on the phone or in person. And then the last time I contacted him was a week ago. November 4th and some of the notes hey he's directing a video series make sure to talk to him about the camera placement and that's it that's how you execute on that and then you set that reminder to check this list once a week and there you go and let's talk about direction how are you going to communicate this how are you going to move this forward well you want to connect these things with certain goals or ideas that you have you want to be able to communicate to the person that you're talking to what you want and you want to be able to communicate what that means for them so direction wise you really want to make sure you understand who they are and what they're after for self-awareness you want to remember your ability to forget and how your body loves reminders to execute this you want to build an excel spreadsheet that will have all these things listed out and more importantly you want to set a reminder most likely on your calendar that reminds you to check this out and get in contact with the people. And directionally, you want to see what people want and understand yourself as well as what they want so that you're able to facilitate those things with your procrastination. Now, your procrastination is going to create time for you to get all this stuff done, and that's why it's important. So you want to set it, list it, and forget it in order to build your network efficiently. If you want to dive deeper into this, Here's a couple of books that I recommend that'll help you get more of an understanding around motivation and how to not use it to get the job done. In the description, you'll find some books that have helped me figure out how to pull motivation from my workflow and start being more consistent in the actions I take. Thank you for watching this video. I think that leaders come from a lot of places and I'm not the only one that has this knowledge and you're not the only one that has this knowledge. We'll all be better off as a tribe and a community if we share. So feel free to dive deep in the comments below and start the conversation.